This is going to be a two-part tutorial on how to solve the 4x4 faster. Um, over In this tutorial, I will be going over solving the centers faster, then solving the last two centers faster, then solving the first eight edge pairs, and then the last four edge pairs. Those four different things are areas for improvement for most 5x5 five five cubers. I do have to say right now that I'm not the best at 5x5. Five five. I average around three minutes, uh, which is still quite slow. Um, but I'm going to try to help as best I can. So first, let's scramble the cube. Okay, here's my 5x5, five five. it's scrambled. Um, yes, the VCube logo is a little messed up, but uh, it'll be replaced soon. But However, the first thing that you do in the reduction method on the 5x5 five five cube is solving the centerpieces. So I have two different little methods that I would like to go over. I use the first one more than the second one, but they can be used at the same time, and it's pretty much whichever one is easiest at the time. So first, what you want to do is this is basically going to be building a, starting off with a 2x1, creating a 2x2, 2x3, and then adding the last bar. So on almost any 2x, on a, almost any 5x5 five five scramble, there's going to be at least one center with an extra piece attached. In this case, I have two. In this case, I only have one, one here, none there, none there, and none there. So I'm just going to start with red. Actually, I'm going to do blue, because uh, people are used to starting with green. So, see how I have this 2x1 bar here connected to the center? That means that this center is going to be very versatile. You can plug in any 2x1 block anywhere else, and it'll still match up with this. Like, if you have one that's going to go here, all you have to do is turn it like this, and it can go there. If you have one that would go there, all you have to do is turn it like that, and it'll go there. So, once you've selected the center you're going to start with, you want to find another 2x1 block if you have one. In this case, I don't have any, so I want to make one. First, what you do is you just take a corner and an edge and put them together. In this case, all I have to do is that. There's two moves to get another 2x1. My first 2x1 is here, and my second one is here. Now, like I said, it's really easy to insert this. However, it doesn't work right there. So if you turn this like this, then you get a 2x2 two two block. This is also very versatile, as you can put any 2x1 block that contains a corner and an edge together in that space. So this piece right here, if I want to match it up with this one, I just do that. Another two moves. And now, with this piece, when I bring it up, it'll go right here. So all I have to do is a U2 in this case, and now I can bring it up to right here, and I have a 2x3. So that was about 7 moves total for this so far. Now you just want to create the last 3x1 bar, as you normally would. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that was about 15 moves for this. I wasn't counting. There's the first one. Now to move on to the second one, you do the same thing. If there isn't a 2x1, all you have to do is bring an edge up, bring it into the center, and bring it down again. Three moves. Now you want to get another 2x1. I have one right here. So when I bring this up, it'll go to right here. So I want to bring this around here so it's like this. Create the 2x2, two two, and then bring the blue back down after moving this out of the way. Now I want to create another 2x1. All I have to do is this. There's one right there. Put it up here. Bring this over, and then bring the blue bar back down again. As you can see, this is very versatile, and it's very quick when you're speed solving. Now you just want to do the last bar and insert it. Now this will work for every center except for the last two. The last two is what gets a little more annoying. 2x1 two here, 2x1 two here, 2x2 two two there, 2x1, two bring it in. Now I'm going to create the last 3x1, and there's another center. 
Now this one is where you might want to use the second method, but I'll teach you that in a minute. So again, you have a 2x1 here, and you have a 2x1 here. If you were to get this out of the way, flip this up, and then bring this back, it would have a 2x2. Two two. So bring it down, flip it over, and back up again. There's a 2x2 two two right there. Now another one of these. I have one right here. So all I have to do is bring it down, and then recreate my other centers. Then create my 2x1. A 3x1, sorry. And there's the centers. So that's four of the centers with that method. I'm going to teach you the last two centers after uh, I teach you the other method. So let me quickly mix this up. Okay, this is a random scramble again. What you want to do is in this method, you're going to be creating three 3x1 three bars. So I have a 3x1 bar here, so I might want to start with blue. And I think I'm actually going to do that. So what you want to do is you want to start with the middle layer. You have two edges here, so all you need to do is bring the blue down, and there you've got a 3x1 bar there in the center. Bring it vertical, and in my case, all I have to do is bring the second bar down. Now you want to create the last 3x1, adding in the two corners, and then adding in the, ed the bar here. So basically, you're just creating three 3x1 three bars, starting with the center one. Now this is where it starts to get important that you know what to do. You have two here, you already have your blue center, and you want to get your green center. All you have to do is make sure that this is horizontal, and then you only bring up the middle layer to create a 3x1, turn the 3x1 horizontal uh, vertical, and then bring it back down again. There's your first 3x1. Now quickly create another... 3x1 block, bring it up and bring it down, just like in a 4x4. And you're going to just keep doing this throughout the rest of this solve. Now, what happens if you only have one here? In this case, I would want to start with the 2x1 block, um, but it's up to you. I have an edge here. All I have to do is an R, U, R prime, and I have my 3x1. Create my third block. This is all completely intuitive. And there I have a third centerpiece. I go on to the next one. Again, I'd use the 2x1 on this one. I'd use the 2x1 on all of these. But on this one, it's easy to show. What you can do is just bring the centerpiece up to make a 3x1 vertical and bring it down. Now for here, next 3x1. It's really easy to create the centers, as you can see. So now, uh, those are the two methods. I use the 2x1, two then creating the 2x2. Two two. I always uh, use that one uh, as, my, as uh, my first choice. And then if one already has a 3x1 in the middle already solved, or I can see a really easy way to get that, I'll switch to that for a little bit. Like, you can do the first center with the 2x2, two two, then the next two with the 3x1, and then the last one with the 2x2. Two it's completely up to your choice. Completely up to you. So now, if you click the link in the description, uh, and at the bottom of this video right here, uh, I will show you a few tips and tricks on how to get faster at the last two centers.